Today's topic is back pain. Back pain is the pain felt in the back of the body that usually feels like an ache, tension, or stiffness. It is classified into neck pain, upper middle back pain, lower back pain, and coccydynia based on the segment affected. The neck pain occurs in the cervical spine. The upper middle back pain occurs in the thoracic spine. The lower back pain occurs in the lumbar spine. And the coccydynia occurs in the tailbone or the sacral region. The cervical spine supports the weight of the head and allows for the head's flexibility. It houses and protects the spinal cord and facilitates the flow of blood to the brain. It connects to the thoracic spine through a series of seven vertebral segments. Due to the forces and stresses that can be placed on it through a trauma or just normal daily activities, the cervical spine is at a risk of developing a number of painful conditions. The thoracic spine contains 12 vertebrae, located between the cervical spine and the lumbar spine. The thoracic spine is a strong cage, and it is designed to protect the internal viscera, including the heart, lungs, and esophagus. The thoracic spine is not designed for motion, so little wear and tear or injury occur in this region of the spine. The lumbar spine has more motion than the thoracic spine. The lumbar spine makes up the most common area for pain, as it carries most weight of the body. The sacral region contains a bone called the sacrum, which is located below the lumbar spine. This makes up the back of the pelvis. Below the sacrum is the coccyx, commonly known as the tailbone. Both structures are integral to function, such as walking, standing, and sitting. Episodes of back pain may vary depending on duration. It may be acute or chronic. Acute pain lasts up to 12 weeks and chronic pain is pain that persists beyond 12 weeks. Back pain is one of the most common reasons people miss work or go to the doctor, and it is the leading cause of disability globally. Back pain can affect people of any age for different reasons. Causes The human back is composed of different structures that work together to support the body and enable us to move around. Problems with any of this can lead to back pain. Common causes of back pain may include Strained muscles or ligaments from repeated heavy lifting or a sudden and awkward movement. Injuries, fractures or falls. Arthritis, osteoporosis, kidney stones or kidney problems. Bulging or ruptured discs. Discs are areas of tissue that acts as cushions between the bones in the spine. Cancer or malignant tumors in the spine. Serious infection in the spine. Skeletal irregularities such as scoliosis. Everyday activities or posture can also cause back pain, including standing or sitting for periods, long driving sessions without a break, sleeping on a mattress that does not support the body and keep the spine straight. Risk factors may include age, lack of exercise, smoking, obesity, pregnancy, sedentary lifestyle, poor posture. Symptoms. This may include muscle ache, shooting or stabbing pain, pain that worsens when bending, standing, walking or lifting, pain that radiates down the foot or leg, dull aching sensation in the lower back. Diagnosis and treatment. A doctor will be able to make diagnosis after asking about symptoms and carrying out a physical examination. A physical examination may be needed to assess your ability to sit, stand, and walk, the ability to detect sensation in your leg, and your reflexes. If there may be an underlying cause, the back pain is as a result of an injury, or the pain persists for too long, imaging tests can give information about the state of the soft tissue found at the back. X-ray may be used to show the alignment of the bone and detect arthritis or broken bones. 
MRI or CT scan can reveal herniated disc problems or problems with the tissues, blood, bone, nerves, vessels, ligaments, and tendons. Bone scan to check for bone tumor or compression fractures caused by osteoporosis. Blood tests that can help determine infections and any other condition causing the pain. Electromyography can also be performed. Treatment. Depending on the type of back pain experienced, doctors may recommend over-the-counter pain relievers such as ibuprofen, muscle relaxants, topical pain relievers, antidepressants, physical therapy, and exercise. Surgery is always used as a last resort to unrelenting pains. Home remedies, such as applying ice packs, may help to relieve discomfort and lessen inflammation. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.